New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How is everything going today? Good morning, Michael. It's been a busy day so far. We have a lot of vehicles waiting to be repaired. I understand. Let's start with the blue sedan over there. It needs an oil change and tire rotation. Of course. I will prepare the paperwork for this. By the way, did you hear about the upcoming company meeting? Yes I did. It's scheduled for next Tuesday, right? This is true. They will discuss the budget and new marketing strategy. I think we should prepare a presentation about the performance of our department. It could be a great opportunity to showcase our recent achievements. That's a good idea, Michael. I'll start working on the presentation right after we're done with the blue sedan. Great, Mary. Let's make sure it's informative and visually appealing. I will definitely do my best after the presentation. We can discuss our weekend plans. Looks like a plan. I heard a new Italian restaurant has opened in town. How about trying it on Saturday? It sounds so delicious. Include me. Saturday night at the Italian restaurant. New conversation. Hello Mary. How's it going? Hi Michael. I'm fine like that, thanks. All right and you? I am also good. I missed the last bus. Oh no, that's not good. What will you do now? I will wait for the next one. It should be here soon. It was a relief. Do you mind if I wait with you? Of course not, Mary. You can join me. Thanks Michael. How was your day? It was busy but nothing too crazy. All right and you? It was okay. I had a meeting in the morning. Meetings can be boring sometimes, right? Yes, they can. So what do you do for work? I work in IT. I am a software developer. This sounds interesting. I am a teacher. The teacher needs to be rewarding. Yes, I love working with children. That's great to hear. How do you like to spend your free time? I enjoy reading and walking. All right, and you? I love playing video games and watching movies. This sounds fun. Do you have favorite games? I'm really into adventure games. What about you? I enjoy puzzle games and strategy board games. Great, we should play a game sometime. Sounds like a lot of fun, Michael. Look, the bus has finally arrived. Thank God. Let's get on the ship. After you, Mary. Thanks, Michael. You're so polite. At least I can do that. Let's find a seat. Sounds good. I hope we can chat more on the way. I am also Mary. It will make driving more enjoyable. New conversation. Hi Mary. How are things going at work? I've been pretty busy lately, Michael. All right, and you? I can relate it like this. Things have been busy for me too. Sometimes I need to take a break from everything. That's why we've come to rest here tonight, Mary. You are right, Michael. Let's enjoy our evening. What would you like to drink, Mary? Let me have a glass of white wine, please. I will drink a beer. Bartender, two drinks, please. Thanks, Michael. So, do you have any exciting plans for the weekend? Not really, just a little gardening and reading. It sounds peaceful. I can catch up with my Netflix shows. What are you watching these days? Lately I've been into crime dramas like, Mindhunter. Oh, I watched that too. So busy. I love trying to solve cases with them. Isn't it like a puzzle? Definitely. Speaking of puzzles, how is your puzzle addiction? Haha, <laughs> still going strong Mary. 
You gotta teach me some crossword tricks sometime. I will be satisfied. They are quite addictive. Then hello to new puzzle adventures. Cheers, Mary. To friendship and puzzles. So, Michael, have you traveled to an interesting place lately? Not really, work ties me up most of the time. I understand the emotion. The job can be tough. But we have to take time for ourselves, right? We definitely deserve a break. Do you have any travel plans in mind? I'm thinking of taking a beach vacation soon. Sounds great. I love the ocean. The sound of the waves is very soothing. We should plan a trip together sometime. That would be great, Michael. Let's make it happen, Mary. I'm in. We'll have to find the perfect spot. Maybe a place with great seafood. You know me very well, Michael. You are a seafood lover. Guilty as alleged. Ha ha. I couldn't be otherwise, Mary. Cheers to seafood and future adventures. Cheers, Mary. To a great friendship. So Michael, is there a big project involved? We are launching a new product next month. Exciting. What is all this about? It is a software solution for data analytics. Influential. This is a growing field. Yes, and the team is working hard on it. I can guess the pressure, but you'll make it. Thanks Mary. Your trust means a lot. We've been through a lot together, Michael. That's right, and we've always had each other's backs. Cheers to teamwork and success. Cheers, Mary. To many more victories. So, Michael, do you have any new hobbies lately? I considered painting as a creative outlet. This is great. What kind of art do you create? For now it's mostly landscapes and summaries. I would love to see your work one day, Michael. I'm going to show you some pictures on my phone. I'm looking forward to it. Creativity is refreshing. It's a great stress reliever, Mary. I have to find a creative hobby too. You become perfect in anything you put your mind to. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Michael. Always, Mary. You can do anything. Salute to creativity and endless possibilities. Cheers, Mary. To our unlimited potential. So, Michael, any news about the family? My son just entered college, Mary. This is a very important milestone. Congratulations. Thanks, it's a proud moment for me. I can guess. Time flies, right? It really is. Appreciate every moment. I will, Michael. Family is everything. Definitely Mary. They are our support system. Cheers to the family and their unwavering love. Cheers, Mary. The tortoise that never breaks. So, Michael, are there any exciting books you've read? I just finished a gripping thriller. Want to share the title? I need a good read. It's called, Silent Witness. Highly recommended. I will add it to my list thanks for your suggestion. Tell me how you love it, Mary. I will, Michael. We have similar tastes. That's why we make such great friends, Mary. Cheers to good books and shared interests. Cheers, Mary. To our eternal friendship. So Michael, do you have a retirement plan? Not soon, Mary. I still enjoy working. Retirement is a big step, a whole new chapter. I guess I'll find out when the time comes. You will have more time for puzzles. Ha ha. You're right about that, Mary. And of course our beach holidays. Retirement sounds tempting when you phrase it that way. That's the reward for years of hard work, Michael.
Cheers to the future and the adventures it holds. Cheers Michael. To embrace those who come our way. So Mary, any exciting news for you? I'm getting a new puppy next week. That's great news, Mary. Which breed? This is a Labrador Retriever. I'm so excited. The workers are very friendly and loyal. I can't wait to have a furry friend by my side. It will be a great addition to your life. Cheers to new beginnings and puppy love. Cheers, Mary. Enjoy pet companionship. So, Michael, are there places to travel on your to-do list? I've always wanted to visit Japan, Mary. Japan is a beautiful country with a rich culture. Yes, its history and cuisine fascinates me. It's on my list too. Maybe we can go together. That would be an amazing adventure, Mary. To dream big and explore the world. Cheers, Mary. To make our travel dreams come true. So, Michael, how's your golf game these days? I haven't played in a while, Mary. It's an intense program. Golf is a very relaxing sport. To put my mind at ease, I must get back to the topic. Let me know when you do. I will join you. This seems like a fun idea, Mary. Cheers to future rounds of golf and laughter. Cheers, Mary. To perfect our swing. So Michael, do you have any advice for a successful career? Stay dedicated, work hard and be adaptable. Wise words, Michael. You've had a great career. It's all about constant growth, Mary. You are an inspiration to many, including me. I appreciate that, Mary. We can all reach our goals. Glory to your ambition and reaching for the stars. Cheers, Mary. Unlimited opportunities to the sky. New conversation. Hi Mary, how are you feeling today? I'm a little tired, Michael. The surgery was yesterday. I heard you're doing well. This is great news. Yes, the doctor said everything went well. It was a relief. How is the pain? Are you feeling uncomfortable? I can manage with the painkillers they give me. Good to hear. Do you need anything from home? Just my book and a few magazines please. Sure, I'll bring them when I come to visit later. Thank you Michael. You are a very good friend. No problem. Mary, I'm here for you. New conversation. Hello Mary, how are you today? Hello Michael, I'm fine like that, thanks. All right and you? I am also good. Are you ready for our project meeting? Yes it is me. I prepared the presentation slides. Great, let's start by discussing our goals for this project. Sure, Michael. Our main goal is to increase sales by 10% in the next quarter. While this may seem ambitious, it can be achieved. What is our strategy? We plan to launch a new marketing campaign and offer discounts to loyal customers. Good idea. Do we have the budget for the marketing campaign? Yes, we allocated $10,000 to the campaign. This should work. Let's also focus on improving customer service. Acceptance. We will train our staff to provide better support. Great. We should meet with the team to discuss these plans in more detail. I'll set up a team meeting for tomorrow. Perfect, Mary. Thanks for your hard work. You're welcome, Michael. Let's make this project a success. New talk. Good morning, Mary. What a great day to explore Germany. Good morning, Michael. I can't wait to see all the amazing views. Definitely. Isn't this place rich in history? Yes, it's incredible. 
I'm especially excited to visit the castles. This is a great choice. They look like something out of a fairy tale. I hear the Christmas markets here are magical. They really are. We should definitely visit one in the evening. I was practicing my German. Guten Morgen. Sehr gut, Mary. Your pronunciation is perfect. Dan Key. Michael. I am working on it. You're doing great. Have you tried any of the local cuisine yet? Yes, I had schnitzel and sauerkraut last night. It was delicious. You dive right in. Don't forget to try some crackers too. I definitely will. They look amazing. Have you planned which museums you want to visit? I want to see Museum Island in Berlin. All right, and you? I am interested in the Deutsches Museum in Munich. It sounds fascinating. We will need a full day for this. That's right, it's huge. How is the weather treating you? Perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Germany is famous for its unpredictable weather conditions. So far, so good. We hope it continues like this. I'm sure it will happen. Germans are known for their efficiency. Yes, everything seems to run like clockwork. Haven't tried the local beers yet? Not yet, but I heard they are world famous. We'll have to find a nice beer garden to relax in. It looks like a great plan. Prost! Prost, Mary. I'm glad you had fun. It's hard not to be in a place like this. Haven't bought souvenirs yet? Not yet. I'm still deciding what to buy. There are so many to choose from, right? Yes, it's overwhelming in the best way possible. We will need to leave some room in our suitcases. Definitely. I want to bring back a piece of Germany. I could not agree more. It's a special place. I'm grateful that we were able to experience this together. I'm Miriam too. It was an incredible journey. Here are many more adventures to come. Cheers, Mary. Germany stole our hearts. New conversation. Hello, Miriam. How are you today? Hi, Michael. I'm fine, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. I need to buy a few things from the market. Sure. What's on your shopping list? I need some bread, milk, eggs and a bag of rice. It looks like a typical shopping list. I also need vegetables and fruit. Great, we can catch these together. Do you know where the vegetables are? Yes, they're in the fresh produce section at the back of the store. Perfect. Let's go there first. It looks like a plan. After that we can pick up the fruit and check it out. Okay, let's go. New conversation. Hello Mary, how are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. All right, and you? I am also good. Did you finish your history lesson homework? No, not yet. I couldn't find the book. No problem. I have an extra copy. I can lend it to you. Oh, that would be great. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. We can work together later if you want. Seems like a good idea. What time does it work for you? How would you like to be in the library at 1500? Perfect. See you there then. See you, Mary. New talk. Good evening, Mary. It's so nice to see you again. Hello, Michael. It's been too long. How have you been? I am good, thanks. And you? Busy but good. I miss our meetings. Me too. So, have you had a chance to look at the menu? Not yet. Let's see together. The specials look interesting. How about trying the roast duck? It sounds delicious. And I heard their red wines pair perfectly with it. The perfect choice.
I'll order a bottle. What about beginners? Bruschetta caught my eye. I'm a fan of bruschetta. Let's take this too. Yes, we'll start with bruschetta. Then we'll have roast duck. And a bottle of the red wine you recommend, please? That should be it, thanks. So how's your new job going? Challenging but rewarding. I'm learning a lot. That's great to hear. I remember him being excited about it. Yes, and it meets my expectations. I am pleased to hear that. So how is your family? They are doing well, thank you. My mother just returned from travel. This is great. Did he have a good time? He did this even though he was already planning his next adventure. Your mother is a traveler. Yes, it keeps his spirit young. This is a great perspective on life. All right, and you? Any exciting news? Anyway, I started taking guitar lessons. Really? This is great. How's it going? It's a challenge but I'm enjoying every moment. That's great, Michael. You always wanted to learn. Yes, and I finally decided to take the plunge. I'm proud of you. It takes courage to try something new. Thanks Mary. Your support means a lot. Of course, you have always been there for me. We made a good team, right? Definitely. We've been through a lot together. Do you remember your trip to Italy? How could I forget? He was unforgettable. The ice cream, the architecture. It was all so magical. We must plan another adventure soon. I would love it. Where should we go next? What about Greece? I've always wanted to explore Athens. Greece it is. Let's start planning. This will be epic, I can feel it. It will definitely be like that, Miriam. Hello to new adventures and old friends. Cheers. New conversation. Good morning Mary. How was your weekend? Good morning Michael. It was great. Thanks. I went for a walk in the Lake District. All right and you? That sounds good. I had a relaxing weekend at home. So about our project. Okay, let's discuss this. Have you had a chance to review the budget proposal? Yes I did. I think it's a little high. Can we try to cut some costs? I had predicted this. I've already spoken to the finance team and they are working on it. Good to hear. What is the timeline for this project? We aim to start in two weeks and finish in three months. Okay, this seems doable. By the way, how's your new car doing? It works fine, thanks for asking. I actually had to take it to the repair shop last week. Really? What was wrong? Just some minor issues like brakes and rattling noise. They fixed it quickly. I also need to have my car serviced. Can you recommend a good mechanic? Of course I can. I go to a trusted store near my house. I will send you contact information. Thanks Mary. This will be really helpful. No problem. I'm happy to help. By the way, did you watch the last football game? Unfortunately I missed it. Who won? Our team won the match 2-0. It was an exciting game. This is great news. I'll have to watch the highlights later. Definitely. Anyway, back to our project. Okay, let's continue discussing the timeline and assign tasks to the team. Acceptance. I will draft an email with the updated budget proposal for your review. Perfect, Mary. Thank you for your hard work on this project. You're welcome, Michael. Teamwork makes dreams come true. Really, Mary. We make a great team. New conversation. Hello. My name is Michael. 
What is your name? Hi Michael. My name is Mary. Is this your first time to school? Yes, my first time here. I am very excited. I was very excited at first too, but then I got used to it. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade. What grade are you in? I'm in second grade too. How nice. We are classmates. Really? This is good news. Do you have lunch at school? Yes, my mom told me to have lunch at school. I also eat at school. Food is usually delicious. I also like to eat. What is your favorite food? I love pasta. What about you? I also like pasta, but I like chicken the most. Chicken dish is also very good. Which subject do you like most? I like the painting class the most because it is very colorful and fun. What is your favorite lesson? I also like painting class. But I like Turkish lesson the most. Turkish lesson is also very good. I especially love to listen to fairy tales. I also like to listen to fairy tales. What is your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is, Little Red Riding Hood. So what's your favorite fairy tale? My favorite fairy tale is, Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. It's a very exciting story. Yes, I love this story too. What do you like to do in the schoolyard? I like playing ball the most all right in you. I also like to play ball. But I like jump rope game the most. I've never tried skipping rope. Then one day I can teach you to jump rope. Really? It would be great. I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. So what do you do after school? I usually do my homework at home and then play a little. I mostly do the same. Maybe we can do the homework together? This is a good idea. Then I'll see you at school tomorrow, Mary. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks, Michael. All right, and you? I am good, thanks. Did you find everything you need in the store? Yes, I did. I bought some fruit and vegetables. This is great. I also bought snacks for the office. Speaking of office, how are things going? We've been very busy lately, but we manage. Good to hear. By the way, have you tried the new coffee here? No, I did not. Is it a good thing? Yes, it's really good. You should try. Thanks for advice. Well, have you seen the sales section? Yes, I checked. There are some good deals out there. Great. I'll take a look before I leave. Don't forget to buy bread on the way out. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot. No problem. Do you need anything else from here? I think I have everything. Let's go to the safe. Sounds good. I will go first. Of course I will wait for you here. All okay. Now it's your turn. Thanks Mary. I will be fast. Take your time. We'll meet you outside when you're done. New conversation. Good morning Mary. Good morning Michael. How are you today? I am good thanks. All right and you? I'm fine too, thanks for asking. Did you find everything you need? Yes I did. I bought some bread, milk and eggs. Sounds great. I need to buy some fruit and vegetables. Let's go to the production section together. I need some apples. Of course I need oranges. They're on sale today. Really? I can have some too. Here they are. They look fresh. I will take a few of these. How about these bananas? These look mature. I'll take some too. Do you need tomatoes or cucumbers? Yes I do. Let's get some. Okay, we have everything in the production section. 
What's next? I need some pasta and pasta sauce. Do you like spaghetti? Spaghetti sounds good. Let's find the pasta aisle. Here it is. Which pasta shape do you prefer? I like spaghetti or penne. What about you? I'm going with penne today. Now we need some sauce. I see some tomato sauce and alfredo sauce. Which one do you prefer? I'll go with tomato sauce. It is more versatile. Okay, let's get some tomato sauce then. What else is on your list? I need some rice and beans for the recipe. The rice is right here. Do you prefer white rice or brown rice? I prefer brown rice because of its health benefits. Good choice. Let's get some brown rice. Do you need black beans or kidney beans for your beans? This time I will go with kidney beans. Great. You have everything on your list. Do you need anything else? Just some toilet paper and dish soap. These are in the hallway of the house. Follow me. Thank you, Michael. You have been a great shopping partner. No problem, Mary. It's always nice to catch up while shopping. I agree. Let's go and pay for our food. It looks like a plan. New conversation. Hello, Mary. How are you? I'm fine like that, thanks. And you? What lessons do you have today? I have English and math class in the morning. Do you like English lesson? Yes, it's interesting. All right, and you? Michael, have you met our new professor? No, not yet. Is he nice? Mary, let's have lunch after class. Sounds great. I'm hungry. Michael, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not exactly. Maybe I can relax a little. Mary, would you like to study for the exam together? Yes, let's do it. It will be useful. Michael, where are you originally from? I'm from California. All right, and you? Mary, what's your major? I specialize in psychology. All right, and you? Michael, have you been to the campus library? No, I did not. Is it big? Mary, can you help me with this math problem? Of course I will do my best. Michael, let's go to the student center for coffee. I'd love to. Coffee sounds good. Mary, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother. All right, and you? Michael, have you seen that new movie? Not yet, but I want to. Is it good? Mary, what do you do in your free time? I like to read books and listen to music. Michael, let's join the study group. That sounds good. It will help us. Mary, can you recommend a good restaurant? Of course there is a nice Italian restaurant in the city center. Michael, what is your favorite subject? I really enjoy history. Mary, are you going home for the holidays? Yes, I'm going to visit my family in New York. Michael, do you do any sports? I'm playing football with some of my friends. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How is everything going? Good morning, Michael. Everything is fine, thank you. All right, and you? I'm fine like that, thanks. Let's discuss the project. Do you have the latest updates? Yes, I do. I've made some progress on the front end design. That's great to hear. Can you show me what you've done so far? I will, of course, share my screen. Here is the mock up of the home page. It looks good. I like the color scheme. What about the back end? Our back end developer is working on it. They should do an update soon. Great. We have to meet our deadline. Any problems? Not at the moment, but we may need more resources for testing. Okay, I'll discuss this with the team. 
What about user feedback? We've received some positive feedback on our beta release. This is promising. Let's keep improving it. How is the budget? We are within the budget for now, but we have to follow closely. Acceptance. Let's set up a meeting with the QA team for testing. I'll schedule it tomorrow morning. Perfect. Thanks Mary. Keep up the good work. Thank you Michael. We will keep you informed. New talk. Mary, can you believe we are finally in Germany? This is incredible, Michael. And come to think of it, we only left England this morning. England has its own charm, but Germany feels like a whole new world. I agree. The architecture of this place is very different. It's like going back in time with these old half-timbered houses. And the countryside is beautiful. It reminds me a bit of the English countryside, but it has a unique feel to it. Definitely. The rolling hills and quaint villages are enchanting. I heard the food here is amazing. Have you ever tried German food? Not yet, but I can't wait to taste the authentic sauerkraut and sausage. Also, don't forget the bagel and schnitzel. Oh sure. We cannot miss these. It is interesting that each country has its own culinary specialties. It really adds to the travel experience. Speaking of which, do you miss anything about England already? I miss the familiarity of home, but the adventure is worth it. I agree. It's good to step outside of our comfort zone once in a while. Definitely. It broadens our horizons and helps us appreciate different cultures. Did you notice any cultural differences between the UK and Germany? Definitely. For example, the way people greet each other. Germans tend to be more formal. Yes, they use titles like Herr and Frau, which are quite different from our ordinary approach. Although most people here speak English, the language barrier can be a bit challenging. That's true, but it's always nice to try to speak some local language. It definitely shows respect for their culture. I hear the history of this place is incredibly rich. It certainly is. Germany has played an important role in European history. From the Holy Roman Empire to the fall of the Berlin Wall, there is much to learn. While we are here, we should definitely visit historical places. I would love to explore some castles and museums. And don't forget the beautiful cathedrals. Yes, like Cologne Cathedral. It is a wonder of Gothic architecture. I can't wait to see it in person. And the Rhine. The riverside views are breathtaking. It's like something out of a fairy tale. I read that the Black Forest is also a must-see. Yes, the dense forests and charming villages sound like something out of a storybook. I'm sure we will create unforgettable memories in Germany. Absolutely, and this is just the beginning of our European adventure. Who knows where our journeys will take us next? Isn't that the beauty of it? The world is full of endless possibilities. Indeed, Mary. Let's make the most of every moment in Germany. I agree, Michael. This trip is the gift of a lifetime. New talk. Mary, isn't it interesting how different Germany is from England? Definitely Michael. The architecture here is very unique. Yes, it's a stark contrast to the charming cottages in the English countryside. And eat. German sausages are famous, but I miss a good old English breakfast. Ah, the full English breakfast of bacon, eggs and beans. Nothing is like this.
Speaking of beans, remember the baked beans in tomato sauce? Yes, it is an essential part of the English breakfast. Let's not forget the tea. The English breakfast tea is very relaxing. True, but here I am starting to enjoy German beer. It's hard not to. The beer culture is very rich. Still, there's something special about a pint in an English pub. Ambience and history, of course. I miss the green landscapes of England. Rolling hills and lush green fields. The English countryside is like a painting. And the Lake District is a walker's paradise. We should plan a trip there when we get back. Absolutely, and we shouldn't forget Stonehenge either. The mystery surrounding it is fascinating. And of course London. Iconic red buses and the River Thames. London has a world of its own. West End theatres, museums and Buckingham Palace. I can't believe we're talking about England in Germany. True, but it makes me value my home more. Acceptance. England has its own charm. Did you know that the Queen has her own special genie? Really? I'd love to try this. Speaking of drinks, the Germans have excellent wine. And don't forget the bagels. You should definitely try it. Just like fish and chips in England. You know, we're lucky to be able to experience different cultures. Traveling undoubtedly expands the mind. It's funny that both English and German are Germanic languages. But they still sound very different. German pronunciation can be quite challenging. English pronunciation is no walk in the park either. True, with all its irregularities and exceptions. But that's what makes it interesting. Remember when we got lost in the English countryside? It was an adventure, wasn't it? We stumbled upon that lovely little village. And I met the friendliest locals. They recommended this cute tea room. And scones with clotted cream and jam. The taste of heaven. Like our German pastries here. The tart and black forest cake are divine. We should learn to make some of these dishes when we get back. It would be a fun way to remember our travels. And we can invite our friends to get a taste of both cultures. A fusion feast of British and German cuisine. Speaking of friends, we should introduce them to schnitzel. They would enjoy it, just like us. But they might miss out on a good shepherd's pie. Or Yorkshire pudding with roast beef. These are classics. Let's not forget the cream teas. There are so many delicious options in both countries. England's music scene is also legendary. Beatles, Rolling Stones and many more. Germany gave us Beethoven, Bach and Wagner. Music truly knows no boundaries. Just like our passion to explore new places. We're lucky to have each other to share these adventures with. And to have memories of England and Germany. It was an unforgettable journey. But there is no place like home. Indeed, England will always be in our hearts. Let's make the most of our time in Germany. And when we come back, we will value our British traditions even more. Here's to the beauty of travel and the love we feel for our homeland. Cheers, Michael. New conversation. Hey Mary, have you seen the new schedule of our lessons? No, I didn't, Michael. Did they make changes? Yes. Our psychology class will now start at 9 a.m. instead of 10 a.m. This has been good for me. I am more productive in the morning. I noticed. I am jealous of you. I'm not much of a morning person. Maybe you need to adjust to a new sleep schedule.
Maybe. I also noticed that our history lesson on Wednesday has been cancelled. Really? From where? The professor will attend a conference. Interesting. It gives us more time to study for the next exam. Yes, I agree. By the way, have you started studying for our math test? Not yet, but I plan to start tonight. Me too. The topics are quite challenging this time. I agree. Mathematics is not my strength. If you want, we can study together. This seems like a great idea, Michael. We could help each other. Perfect. Let's meet at the library after our English lesson. Sure. See you later, Michael. New conversation. Good morning, Mary. How was your weekend? Good morning, Michael. It was comforting. I visited a museum on Saturday. This sounds interesting. Which museum did you go to? I went to the British Museum. This is awesome. I've never been there. Which is your favorite part? Corn section. Mummies are fascinating. I'll have to check it out sometime. By the way, did you get the report I sent on Friday? Yes I did. Thanks for submitting. Looks great. Nice to hear. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. I will, Michael. We should discuss this at our team meeting tomorrow. Definitely Mary. What time does it work for you? How about 10 in the morning? This will give us enough time to review. Sounds good. Then I'll make sure to schedule it for 10 in the morning. Perfect. Thanks Michael. Have a productive day. You too, Mary. Enjoy the day. See you tomorrow. New talk. Good morning Mary. Good morning Michael. What a beautiful day. Definitely, the weather is gorgeous in Germany. I could not agree more. How was your sleep last night? I slept like a baby thanks to the comfortable hotel room. That's great to hear. Speaking of, this hotel is very nice. It really is and the view from our balcony is breathtaking. I can't get enough of these picturesque German landscapes. I know right? It's like something out of a fairy tale. I can see why the brothers Grimm were inspired here. I thought we should explore the Black Forest today. This sounds great. I hear it's fascinating. We can go for a walk and maybe find a charming village. Count me in too. But first, coffee and some German pastries? Sure enough, I saw a cafe down the street. Let's fuel up and start our adventure. Do you remember the German words, hello, and, thank you? Hello, and, danke, right? You understand. Let's try to use some basic expressions. It will be fun to practice our German. Local people will also appreciate our efforts. Hope we can communicate effectively. We can always use hand gestures when necessary. True, gestures are universal in a sense. Look, a map of the Black Forest trails. Let's get one and plan our route. We should also check the weather. Good idea, we don't want to get caught in the rain. We should take snacks with us for the walk. Nuts, fruit and a bottle of water will be enough. I'm excited to see those dense, dark forests. They say the trees are so tall that they touch the sky. They call it the Cathedral of Nature. I'm sure it will be a spiritual experience. Don't forget your hiking boots and a light jacket. I got them ready to go. We will be prepared for whatever Mother Nature throws at us. Maybe we can see wild animals along the way. The Black Forest is known for its biodiversity. I hope we see a cute squirrel or deer. Fingers crossed. Let's finish our coffee now.
I feel more awake already. It's time to start our adventure in this magical forest. I'm ready to immerse myself in nature. We will take lots of photos to remember this. Maybe we could write about our journey in a magazine. That's a great idea, Mary. It will be a great souvenir from our trip. Just like this beautiful wooden souvenir I found yesterday. Oh, this cuckoo clock is so cute. It will remind us of our time in Germany. Speaking of time, what time should we start our walk? How about 10 in the morning? It gives us time for a comfortable breakfast. Perfect, we will enjoy the moment without rushing. That's the spirit. Let's make the most of today. I couldn't agree more, Michael. After the walk, we got to try traditional German cuisine. I hear the black forest cake is a must try. And we can't forget the schnitzel and sauerkraut. I'm already looking forward to lunch. German food is hearty and delicious. We should ask locals for restaurant recommendations. They will know where to find the best food. I love how friendly and welcoming everyone here is. This is one of the reasons why I want to visit Germany. Its culture and history are also very rich. We must definitely visit historical places. The castles here look like they came out of a fairy tale. Neuschwanstein Castle is a must-see. I can't wait to explore its magnificence. We'll have to get there early to beat the crowds. I'll set an alarm so I don't oversleep. Good thinking, Mary. It's time to finish our coffee. Let's get that map to plan our hike. Our adventure in the Black Forest awaits. I'm so grateful that we were able to experience this together. I'm Miriam too. This is a dream come true. Our holiday in Germany got off to a great start. And it's only going to get better from here. Let's appreciate every moment, Michael. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but next to you. Likewise my love. Now let's seize the day. Let's make this a day to remember, Mary.